So the Lingfield Stairs handicap is next in, and this is probably the smallest field of the season so far. Just four of them then in this 0 to 70. Salient really for Darren Howes, Devise for Stu Gray, Mr. Kalani for Doug Warren, and Turbine for Jamie Hopkins. They're in and they're out and racing and turbine and Mr. Kalani with the quickest out. Mr. Kalani looks like he wants to be the one to take them along though. And leads by about a length or so at this stage of the race. They're pulling for its head, salient really. And turbine and devise, they're virtually in a line those three now as Mr. Kalani takes them along at a steady pace. Quite a small field for this end, just four. Uh, quite a few long distance races this week, weren't there? So, probably spread a bit thin, especially the lower end of this 0 to 70. There was a, probably quite a few trainers would have liked to have got one in this, but couldn't. I know I had a couple that I wanted to get in, but rated just a little bit too high. So, good opportunity for everybody to get a winner then. Uh, 0 to 70 and just four runners, so one of these trainers will bag a win. Day three of week four. Weeks are flying by. And the details have been published in the forum today about the transfer window. If um, anybody doesn't know about that, you can get into the forum and have a look. And you can see the dates when you can retire your horses that have not done what you thought they'd do. And you can upload some new ones in time for Royal Ascot in a couple of weeks. But be aware that. You can't run in the handicaps at Ascot if you haven't run already. Although this year you can run in the Group 1s, which should make things a lot better for those Group 2 and Group 3 races when we shouldn't get 25, 28 runner races. So those horses from the big stables will no doubt go straight into the big Group 1, so it should be interesting. And Mr. Kalani takes us along. We're already into the final mile while well, I've been waffling about whatever. And Devise is moving to the second. Turbine is third and Salient really is fourth, so not a great deal going on to be fair at this stage and Mr Kalani is happy in the lead by about five lengths with no distress signals being put out by any of the other horses and difficult to pick a winner at this stage. Mr Kalani will get first run on them all, that's for sure. And they come down towards the five and a half furlong point and Mr Kalani continues to show the way to Devise and Turbine and Salient really is just the back marker at the moment Mr Kalani takes them along still leading by four, Devise is now being pushed into second a little bit of a reminder there for Turbine in third and Salient really just waiting to get going at the back Still quite well strung out as they pass the three furlong pole. And Mr. Kalani races downhill and leads by about four. Devise is in hot pursuit in second. He's left Turbine and Salient really behind. And now Devise is making significant progress on the leader. So it's two of my fellow commentators in the ding dong battle here. It's Doug and Stu. And Mr. Kalani on the inside is now being overtaken by Devise. And Devise has come to take it up at the furlong pole. And Devise has quickly got a length, two lengths clear. And could this be Stu Gray's first winner on the flat of the season? And he's certainly coming to form this way. This is going to win quite easily. And Devise takes it. And Stu Gray's not only had a winner on the flat, but he's had a couple over on the jumps as well. So Devise takes it. Mr. Kalani was second. Salient really in Turbine were next. And so there it is then. He's off the mark. Winner for Stu Gray. Devise second. Mr. Kalani for Doug Warren. Salient really for Darren Howes was third. And Turbine for Jamie Hopkins was fourth.